Okay, guys. Anthony here with another music theory lesson. Okay, so this is Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory, Lesson 11, Unit 3, on page 17, out of your Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory, Book 1. Uh, as always, I recommend that you have this book and that you've done the work before you watch the video. And here we go. Today we are talking about the 3-4 time signature. Okay, so in 3-4 time, 3-4 means there are 3 beats per measure. Uh, that's what the 3 means. And the 4 means that a quarter note receives 1 beat. I always say to all my students that I remember this with, with 2 questions. The, the top number t tells you, sorry, the, the top number asks the question, how many? And the bottom number asks the question, what kind? So how many? 3. What kind? Quarter notes. So that's how I always remember time signatures, okay? So a quarter note or a quarter rest equals one beat in three-four time. A half note or two quarter notes equals two beats in three-four time. So let's just take a look at this rhythm, and I'm just going to count it out, and here we go. I recommend counting, clapping the rhythm. I'm going to give you one, two, three, ready, and go, and then we're in. One, two, three, ready, and go. Ta 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 ta. And that's it. Pretty pretty straightforward. Um, you know, you got your quarter notes, half notes, quarter rests. Um, if you struggle with rhythm reading, I highly recommend you know working on your rhythm reading and rhythmic dictation a little bit. Moving on, a whole rest is used for a full measure of rest even if there are only three beats in each measure. In writing music, a half rest and a whole note are never used in three, four time. Okay, so this is one interesting thing about music, right? The whole rest is the only note, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the only note that changes value depending on time signature. It's the only musical symbol that does that. Right, so in three, four, four, it's worth three beats, and four, four, it's worth four beats, and two, four, it's worth two beats, any other musical notation values uh, are always fixed except for the whole rest. Okay, so here we go. This is kind of like a summing up the last few lessons. 2, 4, 3, 4, and 4, 4 all have 4s as the bottom number, meaning the quarter note, boom, always receives one beat. Here's the difference. 2, 4 has 2 beats per measure. 3, 4 has 3 beats per measure. 4, 4 has 4 beats per measure. That's it. That's the big difference, okay? Okay, so let's do some of these exercises here. Um, let's do it up. Complete the measures using one note or rest, count and clap. Okay, so we're in 3-4. I always like to say, so how many do we have already? It looks like we already have two beats. So we need one more beat to fill up a measure of 3-4. There we go. It's going to be a quarter rest because they're asking for a rest. They're asking for a rest again. We already have one quarter note and one quarter rest. So we're going to need one more quarter rest. Now they're looking for a note. We already have one beat taken up, so there's two remaining. They want a half note right on beat two. And we're just going to keep it on the A line like they have with the first note up here. They're looking for a rest. Looks like we've already got a half note on beat two, which takes up two beats, so we've only got one spot left. They want a rest. Let's throw our quarter note right there. Quarter note rest, rather. Um, they are looking for one note. We've already got a quarter note on beat three, so if we have one note, it's going to have to be a half note on beat one to complete that measure. Now, they're looking for another note. Uh, we already have two rests, so there's only one beat remaining, so it's going to have to be a quarter rest on beat one. Now let's count and, uh, let's count and clap. So I'm actually going to use my, uh, I'm just going to tap and ta this, okay? That way you get the note lengths as well. I'm going to give you one, two, three, ready, and go. Try to follow along. One, two, three, ready, and go. Ta, 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 ta. Note that my
my note lengths were very specific, right? I rested on the rests. I held the half notes out for the full value. Note length is very important for singers, for wind players, um, super important. Not always important for drummers, which is what I am. Uh, but nonetheless, note length is very important in music. Number two, circle the measures with the incorrect number of beats. Okay, so you just got to count them up. If it doesn't add up to three, or if it adds up to more than three, we've got to circle it. So let's count them. One, two, three. Looks like we're good. Whole rest, you might think that's four, but remember the rule. Uh, a whole rest is used for a full measure of rest, even if there are only three beats in each measure. Okay, so that's okay. Um, one, two, three, four. We've got to circle it. Too many beats. One, two, three. Looks good. One, two, three, four. That's too many. We can only have three. One, two, three, four. Too many. So those are the incorrect measures. Number three. In the example below, draw bar lines and a double bar line in the correct places. Count and clap. So again, we just have to add up three beats. Make sure every measure has three beats. So I'm just going to count three beats and drop a bar line. One, two, three. Boom. Drop a bar line in right there. One, two, three three drop a bar line in there one two three drop a bar line 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 and then they asked for a double bar line at the end so remember make a nice thick one and then a regular little bar line for your double now let's count and clap it out. Um, I recommend pausing it here if, you're, if you've been struggling with the other count and claps and write your counting underneath just like they have in this example. Okay, so write your counting underneath, take a pause and join me after you write it in. One, two, three, ready, and go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. There you have it. All right. For number four, in the exercise below, add the note stems, bar lines, and a double bar. Add whole rests where appropriate. Write the beats below the grand staff, then count and clap. Write the names of the notes below the beats. Okay, so there's a lot to do here. So let's just take it one step at a time. Add the note stems. All right, let's just go through and add the note stems. These have got to go up. Those have got to go up. That's got to go down. Up. Up. Down. 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 Oh, there's my phone. A little R2-D2. Forgot to put it on silent. Fix that right away. All right, then we're going up, going up, going down. Okay, so we added the stems. Now it wants us to add bar lines and a double bar. Okay, so now when we're in a grand staff, you've got to look above and below to count your total number of beats, right? So that's a whole rest right there. So that takes up three beats in three, four time. And then you've got one, two, three beats down there in bass clef. So we need to drop the bar line to cover both treble and bass clef, right? Because it's got to go all the way through. I'm not sure if you remember that. Okay, now we've got one, two, three. Let's drop that bar line right there to cover the whole thing. Now we've got one, two, three. Let's drop that bar line right there to cover the whole thing, treble and bass clef. Whole rest, boom, boom, boom. That takes up the whole thing. Let's drop the bar line right there to cover the whole thing. Here we've got one, two, three. Drop our bar line there to cover the whole thing. One, two, three. We're gonna drop our bar line right there to cover treble and bass clef. And then let's do our double bar line at the end. Remember a big thick one, followed by a nice thin one. Okay, and now let's do the next step. Add whole rests where appropriate. So obviously you can see, and you probably noticed it when I was drawing my bar lines, that I'm leaving some blank measures. 
So now we got to add our hold rests. Remember, hold rests are always on the third space. And boom, they're hanging down just like that on the third space. There's your hold rest. Hold rest. Hold rest. Hold rest. That was a little sloppy, but you get the idea. Hold rest. And hold rest at the end there. Okay. Write the beats below the grand staff, then count and clap. So let's write our beats. One, two, three. All right. One, two, three. 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 Oh. Pfft. That is not one, two, three, two, three. There we go. Okay. So check it out. Let's count and clap. One, and you got to bounce back and forth between treble and bass clap to get the rhythms. One, two, three, ready, and go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 done. Okay. Now, if you play a piano or another instrument, I would recommend trying out playing some of these notes and, and see if you can play those notes as well as the rhythms. All right. And then we're going to write the names of the notes below the beats. So there we've got F, E, we've got C, B. B, A, B, E, B way up there, and we've got um, G right there, and we've got F right there. And there you have it. That's Lesson 11, Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory. Hope that helped you out. Please click subscribe. If you're not already subscribed to my channels and we'll see you in the next lesson.